Well, lots of confidence running through this Mead team at the moment after wins against Monaghan and West Mead. Kildare yet to register a victory in this competition. This is Stephen Bray, feeds it out to Brian Mead. And he hits it in, Goldwards comes off the woodwork, breaks here for Paddy Gilson in, turns on the left and gets the point. Well, a really good start for the home side here in Port Talchon this evening. Here's Johnny Doyle, 13th season in the white of Kildare. That one he named for Mikey Conway, breaks here for Kamal, so Connor had a glimpse of goal, back it comes here to Mikey Conway, he went for goal, back it comes to O'Connor, and he just pops it over, happy to take his point. Well, Kildare really beginning to get on top in midfield at this stage. Eamon Callahan running, plenty of space for him. Mikey Conway, goal chance here. Well, certainly had goal on his mind. We'll have to be happy with the point. Kildare, three points to two up, but this could have been a lot more for Mikey Conway. Just couldn't keep it down. Well, the visitors on top here in Navin. Meath just finding it really hard to try and break down the Lily White's rear guard. Gary O'Brien on to Cormac McGuinness. Paddy Gilson gets out in front of his marker. Now he has support from Keen Ward. He goes for the point, and that's a beauty. Meath keeping in touch. Holly Lines. Eamon Callahan into Mikey Conway. Comes deep looking for possession. Johnny Doyle now takes up the running. A delightful ball through to Thomas O'Connor. He turns, has support from Eamon Callahan, and he shoots off the left and raises yet another white flag. It really has been a wonderful contest so far. Real championship fields of proceedings here. This is Holly Lyons in unfamiliar territory. Thought about the shot, back it comes though to Owen O'Flaherty. And now on to Porrick O'Neill. He's a long way out on the 45, just inside now, kicks off the right, and that is an excellent score. Kildare lead by two. Ten minutes into the second half. Lead trying to work it into the corner. Gilson gives it to Stephen Bray, thinking about a shot. And takes it on now, going for the point, doesn't make it, though. This is big Joe Sheridan, opens up, goal chance, Paddy Gilson in, it's in the back of the net, and Meade have a goal. Paddy Gilson in, turns this game on its head with the first goal of the game. It's his second goal of this league campaign, and it all came from substitute Joe Sheridan, won the dirty ball, spotted the unmarked Gilson in, and he couldn't miss from there. Well, Kildare are going to have to dig deep now. Porrick O'Neill. And he's got a runner inside him. Ali Lines picks it up. And it's just opening up here for Ali Lines. Will he take on the point? This is the corner back going for the score and getting it. Ali Lines showing his attack how it's done. Well, Mead needs something to happen pretty quickly if they're going to. Stay in this one. This is Tom Walsh, and he finds Zunigan Tobin. Chance of another goal, and Tobin drills it past the Kildare goalkeeper. Great teamwork by the two second half substitutes, and Meath just won't go away. And Seamus McEnany's man back in front. Great work here by Tom Walsh. Found Zunigan Tobin, and Meath up by one point, entering the closing stages. are his side on the verge of a third win in Division 2 of the National League. Kildare, though, not finished yet. This is Ali Lyons. He's proved a real handful for me this evening. This is Mikey Conway. Has to get around his marker. The ball is laid off here to Alan Smith. Gets free of his marker. Shoots with the left boot. It's really high. And it's over for Kildare. They're level for the ninth time this evening. And he becomes their tenth different scorer. 
It was a one last chance for the Lily Whites to grab a winner. Deep in injury time, and this is Ollie Lines, and it's just opening up in front of him. Ollie Lines fists it over, and surely he's won it now for Kildare. Well, a grand stand finish from the Lily Whites, and hats off to this man. This is Ollie Lines, the cornerback, sailing through the me defence with his second point of the game. It's all about holding on to possession now for Kildare, and there is the final whistle. Kildare have their first victory of the league campaign. 2-11 score by Meath, enough to win any game on any given day, but not tonight. It's Kildare who win 18 points to 2-11. Most times you score two goals and 11 points in National Football League in the month of March would get you across the line, but unfortunately we conceded 18 points. And, you know, listen, uh, a serious performance from Mead, uh, very, very encouraging performance again from us. Uh, unfortunately, we come out the wrong side of a very, very tight game. We lost our first two games there, so if we didn't get a result tonight, you know, we were going to be struggling to avoid rele relegation. So um, it's a huge two points for us uh, tonight in a great game against Mead. Uh, it was tit for tat there, score for score, and... Uh, luckily, we came out on the right side in the end. Yeah, good stuff in Navan last night, but Ollie Lyons securing the points for Kildare. Martin, you were at that game last night. Uh, as good a game of football in March as you're likely to see. Yeah, as good a game as I've seen in the league in, in a good few years. And uh, Kildare play with sh sheer pace and power. It's very hard to play against them the way they, they play with that there. I think Meath were good. They've improved since last year. And uh, definitely they're getting closer to Kildare. Now, the question is, is either, either them getting any closer to Dublin or not? We'll find out that, that later on. But I think the Morgan of Flaherty factor, he's playing number six. It's the same thing as Donny Gall are doing with Lacey and Tyrone now are doing with Peter Hart. Using him as a sweeper, as a, as a, using him as a sweeper, but getting him forward as well, having the legs to do that there. So so you're not just all the tactics that different teams are mm -hmm. using, but but Meath were impressive. You have to give credit to Meath. It was a great game of football, Michael, and very enjoyable for the big crowd that was there. And obviously.